Hi. So I am finally going to be talking about this book. I mentioned last week how I was so excited to review it, and I am so, so, so excited to review it. I'm going to try not to ruin it for you, though. So I've never read anything by this author. My roommate has. She loves her style. She loves her books. I think I am going to borrow more of her books, maybe even buy some books for myself. So the story behind this is kind of reminded me, in a way, it kind of reminded me of Jungle Book. Not how you think, though. It's not deep in the woods where it's about animals or anything. Well, there is a wolf involved. Okay, let me backtrack. So it's about this little girl that gets lost. She's found, but she was lost. They're trying to figure out who she is, who her parents are, who may be looking for her. But the big problem that they're facing is she doesn't talk. She literally acts like an animal. She's scared. She jumps around. She scratches. She's doing what she knows because she's been in the woods for so long. So there's a psychiatrist that just went through something pretty bad in her career and she's trying to get back on her feet. She doesn't know what to do, but her sister is a cop in this town where the little girl was found, and so she brings her in to help. And uh, the story, oh, book almost fell. So the story between them is so, good works with kids she tries to go through therapy with them so that's why her sister would think that she'd be the best choice for her and julia kate that's the psychiatrist's name and so she's trying to get the little girl to talk they're trying to figure out who she is who may be looking for her. they're doing everything they can think of they're running dna tests they're, they're just trying anything and they're dead ends everywhere. Am I saying too much? I may be saying too much. But anyway, I loved this book. I could not stop reading it. I feel like, like I said last week, I feel like it wouldn't have taken me as long to read had I not been working a lot. But I did bring it to work and there were so many times where I was reading it and I would hear footsteps coming, and I would just think, no, not now, why now? And I'd put the book down, and I'd have to help them, because that's my job. I'd just quickly get them through so I could pick the book back up. It kept me at the edge of my seat, and there were so many times where I would want something to happen, and I'm like, come on, just do it, just make it happen, just do this. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I don't want to ruin it for you. But it's just, ah, oh, it's so good. It's so good. So I think my mom actually got this originally because when my niece was little, well, she's still little, but she's nine now. But I'm talking little like four, five, six, which this girl, I believe it's supposed to be about six or seven. No, I think maybe five or six. I think seven. Seven was too old, I think. So when my niece was that age, she used to get a lot of books like this. And so this was one of those books that she got because it was about a little girl. And she read it. She liked it. She passed it on to me, which if you watch that book haul video, you know that I got it through my mom. I'm glad she passed it on to me because I really loved it. So if this sounds at all interesting to you, I really recommend picking it up to read it because it's just uh, so good. I want to ruin it for you guys so, so badly, but I don't. And the only reason why I want to ruin it is because I want to talk about it. That was it falling on the floor. And I noticed I've been doing something, and I just did it as I'm talking about it. As I was editing my video last week, I noticed myself looking to the side a lot. 
I'm not being distracted by a window. Ugh, something in my eye. I'm not being distracted by a window like you would think someone looking to the side would be. No. I'm being distracted by my books. The pile that I put together for all the books that I was going to read, I'm keeping them on my desk so I can slowly go through them, pick up the next book as I'm going, and I look at them almost lovingly as I'm recording. I don't know why I'm doing that, but every time you see me look to the side, that's literally what I'm doing. I'm looking at my books that I have not read yet. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to try not to do it because I feel like it's distracting in a lot of ways. And as I'm talking about it, I feel the need to look to the side. And I'm not going to because I don't want to do that to you guys. But that's what's happening. I'm just rambling now because I don't want to spoil this story for you. So please, someone read it so we can talk about it in the comments. Or if you have read it, please let me know because it is so good. I may want to reread it soon. That's how good it was. Like, you know those kind of books where you put aside because you're busy doing something else, but you're still thinking about it. You're still thinking, wondering what's going to happen next. That was that kind of book for me. Let me go grab it. So I just picked it up off the floor because, yeah, it did fall off the bed. But I rate this book. Hmm. I think I rate it like a five, like a solid five. Like I love everything about this book, five. She writes so well. I think that's what it is, is she made them feel so realistic, like this girl was actually a real girl that was lost and you're following this new story. That's what it kind of felt like. So read this book, please. Actually, when I did have this book with me, I think it's the cover. I don't know if you guys remember, but in that book haul video, I was going to pick this up soon because I liked the cover. And so I had it at work with me. A guest saw it. She actually took a picture of the cover because she thought that it looked interesting just based off of that. She had no idea what the story was about. But this got her interested. The cover. But please, please read it. Someone tell me they read it. I'm dying to talk about it. All right, that's my review. That's my very clumsy review. Ah, I just loved it so much. So see you next time. And please read this. Bye.